This is Connor and Connor. They own an email marketing agency and today I'm gonna to help them to supercharge their business with AI. There's been a lot of talk lately that making money with AI is just a scam. So today I wanted to prove that selling AI solutions to businesses is not only possible for entrepreneurs like you and I, but also extremely valuable to the businesses who adopt them. Firstly, we're going to be investigating their business to identify the current problems they are facing. Secondly, I'm going to be showing you my entire planning and building process to create powerful AI solutions for businesses before finally presenting the finished product to the two Connors and getting their reaction. This is the exact system that I've used to scale my own AI business to over $100,000 per month in revenue. So if you're looking to start making money by selling AI solutions and want to know exactly what you can sell to agencies, or if you own an agency yourself and want to learn how AI can transform your business, then this video is going to be extremely valuable for you. At the end of the video, after seven days of hard work building their AI systems, I'm gonna be asking Connor and Connor the most important question of all. How much would you have paid for it? Let's get started. Okay, so today we're going to catch up with Connor and Connor, my friends, they're also based here out of Dubai. And uh, they have an email marketing agency running a very tight ship, about 0% churn, so my work is definitely cut out for me. I'm excited to get in there, introduce you to them. They're really great guys. Um, and then we're going to do a workshop, some brainstorming on, on notepads and things like that. Quite a formal situation. And then I'm going to break things into a bit more informal with a group exercise activity, which is going to be pretty cool. And so I can really get a, a deeper understanding of their business. And that's really what this whole day is about, is learning about their business so that I can go back to the drawing board and, uh, and really map out my solutions and show you that process. So I'm going to cut to us talking to Connor and Connor in a second. Huh? Dubai Marina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This way? Yeah, bottom, bottom this way. <laughs> good, mate. How are you doing? You. Evan, good. special guest, Evan. All good? Yeah. Come on, nice up, to see you, bro. How are we doing? Good, good. Holy. Oh. Nah, that's part of the grip. Cut it out, cut it out. We are walking into the French Russian on our ball. You see, they have like. This is the true past. This is the raw. No, 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 don't look, don't look. Okay, so we're here with Connor and Connor, um, Connor G and Connor, Connor S. Um, I'll let them introduce themselves in a sec, but we're going to be doing a, a workshop, a brainstorming session, just to really like map out the whole process of the business currently. These guys are crushing it in a number of ways. I'll let them sort of talk about the business in a second, but I've um, got to map everything out here for me to analyze what potential solutions we have, and then I'll be able to take that to the drawing board uh, a bit later today. So if you guys want to uh, give a little intro on your business and, and the different roles that you guys play, that'd be good. For sure. Yeah, so we're the two co-founders of Kensington Media House. We are e-commerce retention marketing agency, primarily email marketing, SMS marketing, also do things like post-purchase upsell pages, direct response copywriting, referral and loyalty schemes, and other back-end stuff and automations that we do. For our clients, I'd fall more into the CMO role, I suppose. Well, my name is Connor Sunderland. I should have said that in the beginning. And then also, I'll let my co my co founder introduce himself as well. Yeah, what's up? So I'm Connor Gower. Uh, I run more on the ops side, so kind of functioning as like COO type role. So I essentially make sure that everything everything keeps running for our clients in the back end, and kind of in charge of uh, client success and you know kind of ops side. So I think there's a lot of opportunity here on the AI side of things. So excited to get going there. Yeah, so these guys won't, probably won't say it, but they're absolutely crushing it right now. Um, I won't, I'm not sure if they want me to share how many clients they've got, but they are on a 0% churn. I'm not sure if that's yearly or, or like overall, like what's that? It's been, uh, been a minute since we've had some churn. I'd say that's probably, you know, Easy. since the start of the year, that's sort of why pretty much okay. no churn. And we're at 30 plus clients, as good as you could say. That's, um, I think we've got my work cut out for me here. <laughs> um, me trying to make anything better here is going to be tough because they're obviously running a very tight ship, but we're just going to, Get the entire operation down on paper and then i'll start to sort of point things out and connor's also got some ideas on things that he wants to talk to me about so we'll get to that now <laughs> okay so that's been a good work sesh there we've got plenty of uh good source in here and i can't necessarily show you all of it but um, tons of stuff for me to work on. We're gonna now jump into some uh, extreme group exercise. I wanna get these guys out of their comfort zone a little bit and uh, try to get a little bit more source from them um, so that I can give them the best possible solution. So we can get stuck into that now. Three. 
in terms of their uh, sort of longer term goals? Yeah. Like, what do you really want out of the business? I suppose it's like, be the best there is. Not really at yoga, I would say. So I was thinking about how you could potentially incorporate more AI features into all sorts of the onboarding process we got there. What about hiring as well? We implement even 10% of what we talked about today. And it's even harder than building AI systems, bro. Yeah. Lord, give me strength. I was wondering what you guys thoughts were on uh, transitioning out of just strictly email. Uh, you gotta be able to think of principles, bro. Like you can't just be looking at tactical stuff for people. You gotta know how you're gonna be able to raise their lifetime value overall. Say you provide more value to people over time. Yeah, I think there's a lot of value in these same age, especially. Agree. Agree. Hey man, you know, next time you want us to do this, you're actually not available. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually sick that day, whatever it is. I'll tip over. Ow! Oh, oh, let's go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Excellent. It's easier. Yeah. It's just the heat. <laughs> <laughs> the actual physicality of it's not that, not that bad. You're wrong. Awful. Never worse. Yeah. <laughs> Feeling loose? Feel like you want to tell me all the business secrets? <laughs> <laughs> Something we don't have to mute off the camera. Yeah. <laughs> it's right really. It's not that bad. Oh, thank you. Even if you're lying, I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> but wait, wait, which <laughs> one? Of, which, which one of us is the best? <laughs> yeah. Um, maybe this. Oh. Yeah. You're the last one. To oh no. It's your right. <laughs> different, different poses. Each one is uh, different, you know. Gotcha. Yeah. Everyone's unique yeah. in their own way. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. We're all stuck I mean, you just do your own. Different. What you're doing, you know. You don't look at your friends. What you're doing, you know. It's a metaphor for life, man. <laughs> Just focus on yourself. I didn't realize yes. Liam brought you know? us here to teach us some life lessons. Yeah. Yeah. There's an ulterior motive to this video, is that he's teaching us life lessons in a hardcore manner. Okay, so we are back the next day now and I'm planning out my entire solution and how I'm actually gonna approach all of the things that I've discussed with Connor and Connor. Um, it's more of a technical evaluation of how I'm going to build the solutions, taking all the notes, connecting the different data sources, how I'm actually gonna deliver the solution, the, what tools and platforms are gonna use. So you're gonna to get to see a time lapse of me doing my thing here and just planning everything out and getting ready to actually get into the building phase um, and sort of sending a final brief of things on, on exactly how I'm gonna build it and what it's gonna feel like for the user. So I'm gonna jump into that now. Okay, so that's the customer success manager planned out. We have uh, obviously a lot to get through, but the good thing is that a lot of the stuff I'm building here will help me carry over in terms of the code that I build, will carry over nicely to the internal use chatbot to help the employees. So, ton of stuff there. I've got a couple of questions I need to ask Connor and Connor, but um, good start on that. Okay, so that's the internal chatbot. It's got a couple of things, SOP finder, event logging, generating SOPs and some bookends and things like this. It's gonna be a second Slack assistant likely. So two separate ones, the customer success manager and the internal use one. So that's internal use chatbot. And we've got a couple of challenges here that I need to address. And these will be sort of my focus as I go on to the next stage of this. But this one is a bit of a top secret one that you guys are actually not gonna be able to see because the boys have asked me not to share it. This is a major part of their business and I'm using AI to, to enhance it. So you guys aren't gonna be able to see this just to keep their edge in the market, right? So this is the onboarding automation that's gonna take the questionnaire that they go through with the client on the first call, collect 20, 30 questions worth of information. I'm gonna ping that from Firefly to ChatGPT, get that created into a Notion doc that's gonna notify them as soon as it's created. And then it's also going to convert that into a Notion database and fill out all the fields of what they've answered just to build up a database of all the clients and all of the information associated with each. So structured data, and then there's gonna be a document for sort of human readable usage as well. So that's all of the planning done. I'm probably gonna put this on a bit of a Figma board so that I can send it over to them, hop on a call with Connor and Connor, um, run through things. I've got a couple of questions as well. Once I've got that information, then I'm ready to actually start building and I'm actually super excited. This has been a lot of fun. This is like my favorite part of the process. So I'm really excited to get started. It's gonna be fresh. Okay, so on screen here, you can see I have laid everything out that I'm gonna do with the boys in a big Figma board. So I took those brainstorms and I converted them over into a very, very in-depth layout of the data structures of all of the functions that it's gonna do. I mean, like, this goes very in-depth if you can see some of that. So I've sent this over to them. They're all good to hop on a call, just to run over things. 
did you get some confirmation about how you want to store the data? Because they've already got a lot of things set up on Notion, so I want to build an Airtable because it's more flexible and has a lot more functionality. So found some options for uh, data syncing between Notion and uh, Airtable that I want to run through with them. So I can jump on the call, get some feedback, and sort of lock in the final plan and design to move forward with. So I'm very excited to get chatting to the boats. Connor, alrighty, I can uh, sh share the screen. So there's a couple sort of tactical decisions we need to make now uh, before moving forward on the data side of things, but I have been doing some research and I think we could have some good solutions here. So it was a good call with the lads. Uh, they were pretty happy with things. I need a couple little edits here and there just to make sure it's all working with their systems. I got some much needed data on how they're actually handling their tasks and, and campaigns and structures and things like this. So we're all good to use Airtable and Notion. I've got a way we can sync the data between the two because the boys are using Notion very, very heavily throughout the business. So I'm gonna sync up both databases and I'm all ready to go. I'm gonna get into the building phase now, which could last a couple of days, could last a week, who knows how long, but I'm ready to get started now. And then I got into the building phase with this project, which was very fun, but also very challenging at times, um, connecting VoiceFlow, Make, and Airtable all together. Okay, so we're on route to Connor and Connors right now. I'm actually pretty nervous because I've had a bunch of issues with the build over the past day. Um, and I'm really hoping that it doesn't blow up my face on game day. So all of the work I've put in, hoping that everything goes well um, and really get the value that I, I think that I've built here and get a, a gauge on whether they think it's valuable as well. So I'm gonna be asking them how much they would have paid for it. And hopefully it's something in the sort of three to $5,000 range after the amount of work I put into this. All right, so we're here with the boys and we're going to run over what I built for them. I'm going to get their thoughts on it, make sure they're fully clear on exactly what the different components of the build are. Um, sort of a little bit of an onboarding for Connor in case he wants to hop in and make edits to it. And then at the end of it, I'm going to be able to show it in action on Slack. Um, and then also get their thoughts on it and sort of what they would have valued this at and really what they would have paid for it if I was to have done this as a sort of paid contractor for it. So we have part numero uno, which is the voice flow chatbot. So we got the in, uh, internal uh, and external ones. And over here, you can see on Slack, you have this KMH assistant, and I put a little bit of a branded thing on it so it looks quite clean. So we have the brand database, which is syncing nicely with uh, the Notion database. So any updates on Notion are immediately passed over to here. So whenever a new revision sort of gives it a bit more context, when a new revision is created, it's gonna send an actionable Slack message. So then new revision, created by four in this case, I haven't created the brand for that particular row, mm -hmm. um, but description of it assigned to, then the people who assigned to that brand, they can mark it as completed or as you found. This is the urgent message feature, uh, which I know you wanted to have so that when they go through the, uh, they find out that they're in focus time. So I can show you, I did set up this thing. So where if I tag someone, if I go at Liam Motley, it's going to check my calendar, see if I'm in focus time. And if they are, it's going to give them a duration until I'm outside of focus time. Then if the request is urgent, please use my urgent message feature. So you can head to apps on the left-hand panel. It's just, and then there's a button here that says send urgent message. If I run this, this is the back end that's managing it. I think I'll need to describe it as tacky. Technology is hot. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, stop. And it should go say something, yeah. Received that. Okay, so it's uh, this is just a bit of debugging saying, okay, we've logged in. So this is the user accounts management. So this is who's logged in, and this is the brand, it's the user ID. So this stuff won't be in the final version. But so if I go send urgent message, and I can just go Sean, it should be able to pick it up from just Sean. What would you like me to notify Sean about? I could say, you published the wrong flow, you. <laughs> Like that you're keeping it realistic as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then should pop up here. Yeah. Give it a second. There we go. Sean's urgent notifications from from published the wrong flow. <laughs> so straight on there. And we can just add him into that so he's gonna get notified. So he'll have this direct channel. Sick. And this is set up for all the other guys as well. And it's just from who, for which brand, and then it's the message that they sent. Now I won't bore you with making you watch this entire thing. This is just me going back and forth with the guys showing them all of the other features, including the different tables in Airtable, the functionality and voice flow in the back end, and then also showing it working live within Slack as well. And once I was done, it was time to ask him the most important question of all. Uh, so boys, if I were to come to you and say I'll set all this up, how much would I be able to charge you? Um, just like when you actually think like the human capital element of like how much time would be saved 
if it allows your team to go offline for even four hours a day, I say that you got 10 team members, that's 40 hours a day, really, it's across long. your entire team. Do you know what I mean? That's over 2,000 hours of focus work a month. And all the bot does is it facilitates your ability to do that. You now have like one of the highest performing agencies on earth. Yeah, it's an easy five figures. Uh, well, there you have it, lads. And less. That's been uh, that's been episode one of how to automate. In this case, it's been uh, an email marketing agency. Adding new features onto this is a, is a walk in the park. So you can just add a new button uh, to that main menu and then build more functionality onto it. In terms of other agencies wanting to apply the same thing. Sick. I love it, man. Right, you got it, bro. Appreciate it. Thank Thank you. You. Appreciate there we it. Go. Um, and we'll catch you back in the stew. Uh, to finish this thing off. <laughs> Back in the stew. Back in the stew. <laughs> So there we have it, in just seven days, I was able to identify and build four powerful solutions for Kensington Media House, valued at over $10,000 by the boys themselves, which they calculated off the amount of increased output and sort of time and work that their team members would do over the coming months. Now, I think they're being a bit generous there, but maybe you could call it $5,000 in value added, which is a pretty good result considering I only spent seven days on this. So the final solutions that I ended up providing to the boys was firstly an AI enhanced client success manager chatbot, an AI enhanced internal assistant chatbot, an Airtable database partially synced with the company's Notion, and another AI solution that directly relates to a major aspect of their service delivery, which I'm actually not allowed to mention as I talked about before. Now, all of these solutions were built using no-code or low-code platforms such as VoiceFlow, Slack, Replit, Airtable, Make, and Stack AI all of which are gonna be linked down below if you wanna check them out. Now to walk you through this entire build and all of the different parts of it would take hours probably, which I obviously can't fit into this video. However, if you want to steal the 40 plus hours of work that I've put into this project and literally start selling these exact same solutions to other agencies or other businesses, all of the templates for everything covered in this build is being given away to my AAA Accelerator members as part of their subscription. I'll also be doing a complete behind the scenes breakdown of this entire build within a workshop within my Accelerator community but it'll also be recorded for any latecomers who join um, after i've done it so if you want to get instant access to all of these templates and the workshops etc you can join the community in the link in the description below but all in all i'm so glad i took on this challenge despite having really no idea how i could help these guys initially this was the first project that really forced me to go deep on the advanced features of Airtable and its automation capabilities plus how you can connect voice flow uh, to slack via replit i've learned so much in the past seven days which is really just made me better at identifying and creating AI solutions in the future, and therefore like essentially making me a more valuable AI entrepreneur. Because in, in many ways, our key skill as AI automation agency owners is being able to see opportunities for AI to improve businesses, and then building the necessary systems to do that. Honestly, this video is only just scratching the surface of what is possible with AI for businesses. So if you want to learn more, then you can check out my full guide to starting an AI automation agency, which will be available up here. And finally, a massive thank you to Connor and Connor for making this entire project possible. So if any of you are interested in working with one of the best email and retention marketing specialists for your business or for anyone that you know, the Kensington Media House website will be linked below. I can vouch for these guys 100%, not only on the business side, but also as, as people themselves. I really uh, love spending time with them and I can guarantee that you will like working with them long term as well. So leave me a comment below, letting me know what kind of business you'd like to see me transform with AI next. And while you're down there, please subscribe to the channel uh, for more AI business content and leave a like down there. Also, if you have enjoyed, please, it would mean the world to me. It's really the best way for you to tell me what kind of content you want me to make more of. Uh, so please leave a like while you're down there. But aside from that, I will see you in the next one.